So this is the opening of epoxides with Grignard's reagent. So Grignard's reagent, what it does is it adds a magnesium to an alkali halide, such as bromine or iodine, and then makes it a nucleophile. When it makes it a nucleophile, it now becomes an SM2 mechanism. So it will attack the least substituted carbon. Right here, it's, this is an epoxide. An epoxide is simply um, a oxygen that has a bridge bond, right? So it's, it, it forms a bridge with the... Um, originally, this would have a double bond, but since the oxygen came by, it now has a bridge formation, which is two bonds connected to the oxygen. So this adopts a SN2 mechanism, so it will attack the least substituted carbon. So this carbon will attack this one right here, and the double, the bond right here will its electrons will go to the oxygen. So remember to always count your carbons. So one, two, three, four, five carbons here. So your final product should have five carbons. So one, two, three, four, five. Now um, it might be hard to see this, but when you when it attacks, when it opens up, um, this oxygen right is right here. So the oxygen um, will be right here. And notice right here you have one methyl group and uh, the the other alkane attacks right here so the rest will be on the left side right and so only one will be on the right side and the all the others will be on the left side um, you can also draw it out uh, step by step just to show yourself that this will actually is what happens when you open the epoxide now I said that this is a SN2 mechanism so when you have stereochemistry, you will actually have an inversion. So for example, here, when it attacks um, this spot, right, because this only has, um, it's a secondary carbon, but over here, you have a tertiary carbon, so it will attack this spot. So it comes by and attacks here. It forms in the plane of the page, right? It forms in the plane of the page, and therefore, this would have to move upward. You couldn't keep it down because um, then it would interfere with this part. So what happens is it forms um, upward. So that's the mechanism for the opening of epoxide with Grignard's reagent. I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.